I'm being told there's someone else here who wants to say happy birthday. I don't know who it is, but uh, come on out. I was wondering why you weren't over there, and I don't know why you're here, because you can't talk. You don't I have a voice. I can't talk. I, actually, this is your birthday gift, a sexy voice. Uh, so, <laughs> um, I am here to give you your gift. Oh my gosh, I really can't talk. Um, so, it's your 60th birthday, and this gift had to be really special, and it had to represent who you are and what you really care about. Not just now, but what you've always cared about what you were influenced by, and what has made you the amazing person that you are today. So I combined that um, and questions when we first met, like, who is your idol? And what would you do if you weren't a talk show host? So I combined that with the fact that literally, guys, for like the last two years, Ellen has said to me, I feel like I'm not doing enough. Every day, almost. Uh, so I put all that together, and I got you this gift. So let's see it. Happy birthday. When people ask my wife, who is the person, living or dead, you most want to interview, her answer is always Diane Fossey. Ellen remembers reading National Geographic at home as a little girl, and remembers Diane on the cover of the January 1970 magazine. Ellen was struck by Diane's dedication to animals, her mind, and her bravery. Ellen read how in 1967, Diane Fossey set up a camp she called Karasoki in the Virunga Mountains in Rwanda. This is where Diane began studying several dozen gorillas, and at that time, Diane was alone in protecting them. Fast forward 18 years, and the world was sad to learn that Diane was murdered in 1985 in her cabin at Karasoki. Most of us know Diane's work from her book, Gorillas in the Mist, which is legendary and carried on her story. Her story is also carried on through the work of the Diane Fossey Gorilla Fund. The Fossey Fund exists to ensure the survival and thriving of wild gorillas in close partnership with the government of Rwanda. But unfortunately, today there are only 880 mountain gorillas alive on Earth. Thus, the work of the Diane Fossey Gorilla Fund remains vitally important to ensuring their future. In Gorillas in the Mist, Diane wrote, Little did I know then that by setting up two small tents in the wilderness of the Varangas, I had launched the beginnings of what was to become an internationally renowned research station, eventually to be utilized by students and scientists from many countries. So for your birthday, Ellen, I am bringing you and your hero, Diane, together by building the Ellen DeGeneres campus of the Diane Fossey Gorilla Fund. Ellen, you will carry on Diane's legacy by giving them a permanent home in Rwanda. Now, you will join Diane as a protector and champion of these amazing animals, the mountain gorillas. Happy birthday. Oh my God. Happy birthday. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. But oh that's my, not all. Oh my God. <laughs> so, in summer. Is this in Burbank? Where is it? <laughs> so that's the thing. So, it'll be a most incredible center for tourism, education, and for further scientific research. So, but, yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> here's, here's actually kind of the best bit. I have also set up a foundation in your name called the Ellen DeGeneres Wildlife Fund. So this is the first initiative for the fund, but you can take this and do it, do whatever you want with it. You've done amazing work for elephants, and you can um, just continue and support whatever you want to do. It's, it's, it's the best gift I've always said and when we got married. Porsche's line was, it's good to be loved. It's profound to be understood, and she understands me because that is the best gift that anybody could have given me. So, I love you.